name is Jim Boucher. I'm a licensed fire protection engineer and have been in the Special Hazards Fire Protection Field since 1995. For the past decade, gas-fired power plants have become more and more popular. However, the fires involved with this type of plant are rarely discussed. In this video, we will talk about where the fire hazards are located and what fire protection is needed to protect this space. This is me. Now you have a face to go with the voice. One of the most misunderstood pieces of equipment in a power plant with regards to fires is the cooling tower. While it is mostly filled with water, it is not exempt from fire. The cooling tower itself is filled with fire hazards such as PVC, fiberglass reinforced plastic, ABS, polypropylene nozzles, and wood. What is causing cooling tower fires? It usually comes from outside the cooling tower itself. A fire starts somewhere else in the plant and travels to the cooling tower. However, fires do occasionally start in cooling towers, mostly during maintenance. Welding and cutting are common causes of fire. Fires also ignite when maintenance is needed, but hasn't yet been scheduled. For example, electrical failures or overheated bearings can happen when maintenance is needed. Electrical failures and overheated bearings also can cause a fire. Cooling tower fire protection needs to meet the standards of NFPA and sometimes even more stringent requirements such as those of FM Global. Because of this, it's best to hire a fire protection contractor to write the specs and ensure that all bases are covered. Something to note about fire protection in cooling towers. Cooling towers are a corrosive environment, so regular inspections are a must for fire protection in this area. They're a must in all areas, but even more important in cooling towers. Turbines are another area of gas-fired power plants that are susceptible to fire. The most common cause of turbine fires, and the largest single fire hazard in a turbine building itself, is lube oil. Turbine fires are expensive. FM Global studied 17 turbine fires and determined the average cost per fire was $24 million. We recently established that it cost $24 million for turbine fires where there was no fire protection. What about turbine areas that were fully protected and still had a fire? FM Global studied those fires as well. In one example, the damage cost nothing and the downtime was only 6 hours. In another example, the fire suppression system activated and in the end, the cost of the damage was $20,000 a lot less than $24 million. Generator fires usually start from lube oil incidents. Lube oil fires are usually spray fires. Spray fires are especially dangerous because they spread so quickly. To protect against spray fires in generators, the best option is water-based fire suppression. Water is typically available in very large quantities in power plants and has tremendous cooling properties with respect to both the fire itself and on adjacent equipment. Gas-fired power plants typically employ compressors handling natural gas and these gas compressors can occasionally leak. Natural gas accumulates to 5% or more, it can explode. The average undeveloped fire is 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. The average fully developed fire is 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. It only takes a temperature of 1165 degrees Fahrenheit to cause an explosion. It won't take too long to get to a point of exploding. The last fire hazard we will discuss is transformers. Transformer fires are sudden and become intense quite quickly. They generally start from a short circuit condition and all too often the transformers themselves may explode. To extinguish these fires, the only viable option is a deluge fire suppression system. 
deluge system soak the transformer with a steady stream of water and contain the fire until it burns itself out. Deluge fire sprinklers will keep the fire contained and adjacent equipment cool, making sure that the fire does not spread to adjacent structures. Is your gas fired power plant up to code with its fire protection systems? FE Moran Special Hazard Systems has been protecting gas fired power plants since 1979. Our in house design, project management, prefabrication, and installers make the fire protection and ongoing inspections and maintenance easy. If you have any questions about whether your plant is adequately protected, please contact us at area code 847-849-8720.